The next thing that we can do that will really help our happiness, and this is a big one, is stay in peace. I grew up in a house of turmoil, arguing and anger. and I didn't even really know what peace was until I married Dave, and he was such a peaceful man. And I think I went through all kinds of stages. I resented it for a while because he had something that I didn't have. But he stayed so steady in having peace that eventually I got hungry for the peace that I saw him have. And you know, if you want peace enough, you can have peace, but you may have to do some changing yourself instead of always expecting God to change your circumstances. Let me read you a scripture. John 14, 27. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I don't give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. And you know what the Amplified Bible says? Stop allowing yourselves to be upset and disturbed. Stop allowing yourselves to be fearful and intimidated. I love that. Jesus said, look, I'm leaving you my peace. It's a gift to you. Here it is. We don't even have to pray for peace because we have peace in us. Jesus is the Prince of Peace and He lives in us. So peace is in us. But if we base everything on our circumstances and what we can see around us, then we're never going to enjoy the peace. So Jesus gives us a job. You know, we're partners with God and He doesn't just do everything for us. Many times He shows us what to do and He gives us the grace to do it. And He said, stop allowing yourselves to be upset and disturbed. Well, you know, I've learned now that when something happens that starts to upset me, the very first thing that I do now is pray. I pray and I give that thing to God. I pray based on Philippians 4, 6, be anxious for nothing, but in all things, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace that passes understanding shall keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Let me ask you a question. When you have a problem, do you run to the phone and call up one of your friends and ask them what you should do or just murmur and complain about the situation or do you go to the throne? I always tell people, don't go to the phone. Go to the throne. God's got your answer, not people. Matthew 6, 34 says, Therefore, don't worry about tomorrow. Because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Well, isn't that good? He's saying don't waste today worrying about tomorrow because tomorrow you'll have some other stuff to deal with. Trust God and let him take care of things. Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. You know what, in Ephesians 6, it says, do all the crisis demands and then stand firmly in your place. Yes, we have a responsibility when we have a problem to do what we can do. Pray about it, ask God if there's anything you can do. And if he shows you something, then do it. But when you've done what you can do and there's nothing else you can do, then you stand firmly in Christ and you believe that God will do what you cannot do and what no other human being can do, and that will allow you to be in peace. I'm telling you, what we believe determines our joy. Romans 8, 6 says, The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. What we think determines our level of happiness in our life. Negative thoughts are going to make you unhappy. Positive thoughts are going to make you happy. Hopeless thoughts will make you miserable. Thoughts full of hope will give you peace. Another thing that really helps us to have peace is not to have to have your own way all the time. Learn to be adaptable and adjustable. You can't be selfish and be happy at the same time. Refuse to take the care that Satan tries to give you. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 7, cast all your care on God 
all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, wow, once and for all, maybe I need to do that again, somebody needs to hear that. Cast all of your care, all of your concerns, all your anxieties, all your worries, once and for all on him, for he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. God cares about you. He sees you. He sees your situation. And he has an appointed time for your deliverance if you will put your faith, your trust, and your confidence in him. And if you remember what we read yesterday, we read that whatever we believe, we should also speak it. We believed, and therefore we spoke. So instead of saying, well, God, I, what are you doing? I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like you're doing anything. Every time that you start to worry about something, just open your mouth and say, God, I believe you're working on my situation. You see, as long as you're believing, God is working. You just try some of these things that I'm telling you, and I can promise you that your happiness will increase. I believe the main thing that allows us to really trust God with our problems is experience. Let's just say that you've been born again for a year, and you know I've been born again now for over half a century, and I have a lot of experience with God. I've, I've been through the trying to take care of myself and trying to make things happen myself, and I've been through the years of misery that it caused, and so I know now the only way to have peace is to trust God. But let's just say you've just been born again for a year and you're just learning some of these things. Well, it will be more difficult for you to trust God, but every time you do trust him and you see that he does come through for you, it will be easier for you the next time. I, look, I promise you it will get easier and easier. So whatever you do, don't throw in the towel and say this is not going to work because it will. Cast your care, and God will take care of you. Philippians 4, 6. I quoted it a few minutes ago, but I want to read it to you. Don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation, every situation, by prayer and petition, and here's the biggie, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God which passes all understanding, will guard your heart and keep your mind in Christ Jesus. We hope you enjoyed this teaching. To get more from Joyce, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.